Hi, Keelan. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Hi, Spartan. Welcome in, guys. Can't miss the subathon? I know. Also, Keelan Rose Badge. Did you have a Rose Badge last time you were here? Ain't no way. Subathon! Hi, Vic. Hi, guys. <laughs> I don't want to say that sentence, Keelan. <laughs> I don't want to say it. <laughs> guys, I've eaten breakfast. I had a real breakfast today. That was me opening my applesauce. The timer will officially start- Two years on the Sabbath and oh wow. <laughs> Thank you for the two year resub? Oh my god. Two years. Thank you, Kobobo. Guys, we have a new- a new, what is it? Cherry Blossom Sakura in chat. Thank you, Go Bobo. Can we get some Wool Bobos in chat? Oh, let's see if the timer actually worked. Oh, okay, the timer does work. It's not on screen, but you know what, Go Bobo? I'll add, I'll add 10 minutes to the timer whenever it starts. Wait, shoot, I forgot tier ones are worth an extra minute. Shit. Wait, no, I swore! I swore. Hi, Kim. Do you have audio? Guys, put your favorite piece in emote in chat. I want to see. Oh, wait. How'd you get the birthday card? I'm so distracted. I think I have everything ready. Okay, I'll turn face cam on early since it's 9.50. We still have to stall for 10 minutes though, okay? Yo. Let's see. Wait, how did I get two subs today? What? <laughs> okay, that timer is incorrect. It resets whenever we um, actually start at 10. So, hello guys. The subathon does not start till 10, so Oilers and Big Cheers politely hold. Hold. Um, since it's my three-year anniversary, I got myself a birthday card. It's for three-year-olds, and I chose the rainbow one because I do have LGBTQIA tag. Wait, do I have the rainbow in my title still? Yep, I'm still gay. <laughs> so, I know not everybody can donate, but if you are here in chat, I'll write your name in the card. And if you do donate today, you get a sticker next to your name. And no, you don't get to pick the sticker. This is just like elementary school. You get what you get. So since we had a few chatters already, you guys got in here like right away. I'm so nervous. Okay, so everybody, um, if you were in chat, type again so I see your name again. Okay, let's put August 1st, three-year subathon. Hi, Tooth. I want to pick the sticker only if you donate, but then you still don't get to pick. Okay, so I'm going to put, let's see, I'm going to put donators on this larger space because the stickers take up more surface area. And I'll put chatters like in the little other panels. This card was $4. $4. Should we do sub only chat? Say screw the poor people? <laughs> okay, so we had... Spartan B909. Kobobo. Black ish tooth. Four dollars for the card is wild? But no, look, it opens up and it's glittery. No, but suckers will pay so much money for a card. Doesn't Hallmark card charge like six bucks? He also had Keelan.
vacantant. I think the other person was Kim. Yeah, I think I got everybody. And we'll be adding names throughout the day. Like I said, every chatter will go in the card and everybody who donates will go on the right side. It's 9.53, we got seven minutes. Well, Bobo, since your username is purple, I'll give you a purple card. Or not card, a sticker. And yes, I know my camera's flipped. <laughs> there we go. I didn't want to do a poster this year because it was annoying turning around. So there. Everybody who joins chat gets the name written. If you donate, you also get your name and a sticker. Because that way, like, the card is a lot easier to, like, keepsake. I have the poster from two years ago, but it got crumpled. The most I ever paid for a card was two bucks. You never see me spending four bucks or more. I mean, in America, everything is expensive. And, like, it'd be different if, like, Hallmark cards were handmade, but they're, like, machine-made. They kind of match. I was feeling blue today. Abu Di, Abu Da. <laughs> but I'm wearing the overalls today because we don't know how long stream will go. It could go for three hours or for 30. <laughs> we don't know yet. Okay. It's 9.55. We have five minutes until this timer officially starts. So let's go over the rules for today. If we take a look at the pin chat, if you're watching on desktop or mobile, there might be an alert about the Apple Plus subscription. Swipe that away so you can actually see the real pin chat. Rules for today are simple. Peace I2, no way. Every five gifted subs, not five in like total subs, every five sub drop is a wheel spin. If you know what the wheel spin is, no you don't. You don't, it's a surprise. It's a surprise wheel spin. If you know, don't leak. It's a surprise. A regular gifted sub is worth 10 minutes. Because as you know, the price of subs went up by a dollar this year. So you know what? I'm rewarding you guys for giving you guys more time since it's a dollar more. Also, I want to hit the 30-hour cap. <laughs> also, prime. Oh, I spelled prime wrong. <coughs> Let me fix it. I'm fixing it. I have the typo. typo. Prime subs, tier 1, tier 2, and 3 are worth more by default. Yeah, I'm, I'm pasting it here so the VOD watchers can see it too. So, tier 1s are worth 11 minutes, and then tier 2s are worth 20 minutes, tier 3s are worth 30 minutes. That's only for, like, gifted tier 2s, three, tier 3s, or, like, if you choose to resub at that amount today. For once, I actually don't know what the wheel spin is. <laughs> it's crazy, I will say. It's crazy. And then... So like I said, base time is 10 minutes for gifted or tier, or tier 1 is worth an extra minute, and so on. And then, I do have my cash up in my profile. There won't be noties, but every single cash up donation, $1 equals 1 minute. I'll just have to manually add time for that. And if we do get a hype train throughout the day, every single donation given during a hype train will give an extra one minute bump. And throughout the stream, I'm not going to be changing the title because, you know, we're farming. So if you if we have people coming in and they're asking what we're doing, like in terms of activity, just type exclamation plan and then there will be a command. Like right now. Right now we're just talking about the rules. We got three minutes. It's 9.57. Oh, should I have a clock on screen? No, I don't want that. The Wheel of Wow? I mean, it will be a shocker. <laughs> it will be a shocker. The only thing that I will leak about the wheel is in the ti or in the title, it says subs equals 10 minutes. With every wheel spin, that number might change. I will not explain further until we get five gifted. Anybody have any questions? Any questions? 
So those are the basic rules. Boys, the plan is simple. My hypothesis is that this will go for... Because last year we hit 12 hours, and I think the timer started at 3. But since subs are worth more time this year, I think we'll hit like 10 hours. That is my guess. But our cap is 30, because I figured, you know, why not do an overnight stream? We'll play little YouTube videos. You guys want to leak? You guys want to see the nighttime overlay? You guys want to see it? Look at that. <laughs> okay, that sub on timer is wrong. Don't look at that. That's our nighttime overlay. Wait, where'd Chad go? It's gone. Yeah, so if the stream goes past like 10 p.m., we'll watch YouTube videos together. By that, I mean like I'll be in bed typing a chat. What happens if it ends when you fall asleep? Oh, we gotta talk about that. So that won't happen. I'll just set a timer for whenever the stream time would end and then I wake up. Wait, it's 9.59. Okay. Are you guys ready? Okay, so the timer is supposed to start at 3 hours, but since Kobobo did a tier 1 resub, it'll start at 3.11. Wait, I have to do the seconds. I forgot to calculate this. Calculator. 11 times 60, 660. Oh, it's marathon minutes. Okay. 191. Guys, it's now 10 o'clock. Wait, why didn't it reset? <laughs> reset! Wait, 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 wait. Wait, why isn't it resetting? <laughs> Wait, let me fix it, let me fix it. Oh, there it goes. Okay, I did it. It's reset. Since we had a tier one before it started, it's at 3.11. Guys, it has begun. So the timer defaulted to three. The cap is 30. So if we hit it, it will not go past 30. So the plan for today is simple. Wrong note card. <laughs> I have like eight activities. Each activity will take two to three hours. So that's about like 16 to 20 hours. And then like you got to accommodate time for me to eat and stuff. So... We'll do these in any order that I feel like doing, I'll be honest. The music is kind of loud for me, but it's fine for you guys. Also, VOD watchers, there should not be music. The theme for today's subathon is nostalgia, because this is my three year. Ain't no way! Oh no. <laughs> Thank you for the five gifted vac. Can we get some Wakantans? Thank you. You know what that means? Thank you, Vic. Our first true donator, because Cold Bubble like shot early. That is a wheel spin. Now. The wheel spin is kind of crazy. If you're here, you're here, you know. It is time to spin the wheel. Now the wheel is not for anything like not activities is to determine the time in which subs are worth from this point on until the next five gifted ain't no way stop another five gifted thank you Cole bobo wait you should have waited thank you thank you okay wait stop seriously stop we need to do the wheel spin okay so how the wheel spin works is Every five gifted can change the time value of a sub. So that means it can change Buzz. from either one. I'm no wheel spin. Ten minutes. Five minutes. And then it was 17 minutes. And 21 minutes. So on the wheel, we have 50% keeping it at 10. 
and then 50% one minute, five minutes, 17, and 21 minutes. Wait, we have 100! Oh, no! <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay. Level 4 Hive Train. Okay. This is too much. Now that we have Hive Train, every donation after this will add an extra minute. I just have to keep a tally. So if you guys want to farm, it's every single individual donation during the 5-minute window of the Hive Train. We'll add an extra 1-minute multiplier per. Okay. So since... Once again, thank you, Keelan, for the resub. Thank you, Go Bobo for the 5 gifted. And thank you, Vic, for the 5 gifted. Okay, so since Vic did do the five gifted first, this is to determine, or this is for one wheel spin. Subs, so I guess Kobobo's gifted would have been worth. <laughs> five minutes! <laughs> okay, Kobobo, you're lucky that you gifted then because it would have decreased to five and it would have been half off in time. Okay. So, just to re-emphasize, we're doing two wheel spins because we got two five gifted in a row. So, this is for Kobobos to redetermine the time again. It could be one minute from this point on, or it could be 21. It would be hilarious if it landed on one. Ah! 17. 17. Dude, imagine if it landed on one. Okay, so from this point on, until the next... Five sub drops. Subs are worth 17. Fuck. 17 minutes? Yeah. Good job, Kobobo. Honestly, Al Vic, you made it down to five. Kobobo clutch. Okay, I need to fix it now. Subs are now worth 17. And that's only for a tier one. And I'll be able to adjust the worth and time throughout stream to make sure it's accurate. Wait, we're at five hours already. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, 17 times 60 seconds. A thousand seconds per tier one, bruh. Wait, what? Wait, why did it reset? Wait, why did- uh-oh. Oh no. Why did it reset? It's not supposed to do that. Uh. <laughs> um. Wait. What's it doing? Wait. I'm trying to fix it. I'm trying to fix it. It didn't do that earlier. Wait. Oh no. Okay, we're not on wheel spin anymore. I'll fix it. I'll I'll ref I'll fix the timer. It should not have done that. What the fuck? That's weird how it changed it. It's like, I'm updating it now, but it, it's working. Okay, well. I'll go back in the VOD and manually change the timer. Awkward. You know, there's there was no way for me to test it before it started, so. And it worked last year. You know, what's a peace in stream without tech issues? Okay, the timer peaked at 448, 448, 
It's not updating. No five hour spin, no. Thank you guys for participating in the hype trade. We got a level three hype emote. Ain't no way. Okay, I'm fixing the timer. It's not like updating here. What do Wait, I think I got it. Okay, we're back to the 448. Just to make clear. We're good now. I think it's fixed. Let me verify to see if it works. Okay, I got it now. I clicked reset the timer by accident earlier <laughs> instead of save, which honestly, stupid. <laughs> okay, so everything is fixed now. Subs are still worth the 17 minutes per tier one. And since we did get a tier one during the hype train, that was an additional one minute because it was a tier one and then an additional one minute because it was during the hype train. And since we got 10 gifted that were part of the hype train, those were two individual transactions. So that's an extra two minutes. There we go. We're back on track. Okay. Is that grass? What is the emote? Wait, do I have it? I want it. I think I might have it. Let's see. Fall damage. Oh my god, I do have it. You know what's such a scam? Every time you as the streamer get a hype train, you get the emote as well. It's crazy. Two minutes for 100 bits. Okay. Are we all good now? I, I don't think I'm scamming. Or I should not be scamming, right? I'm scrolling up to see who got the gifted. Oh, Spartan got one. Gion got one. Deegan got one? Cool. Chunders. <laughs> okay. Now that the timer's figured out, it should be working from this point on. No scamming, don't worry. The activities for today. There's nothing leaked on the back, don't worry. Okay, this comp is too slow. I should have removed this comp. It's too slow. There we go, that's better. The activities for today and potentially tomorrow. Mario Kart, reset if I don't get first. Oh yeah, I was doing the intro and then we got interrupted. Okay. So the theme for this year's subathon, because this is my three-year stream anniversary, is nostalgia. Now, type one if you watched me back when I started in 2021. If I see a single one, you guys are lying, because I only had... Two chatters in 2021. I had one person who would watch most every stream and then one person who would only watch me play Odyssey. <laughs> Dude, I don't even remember. Look at all these liars. Mods ban liars. I hate liars in my chat. Not many people watched, or even now. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, I appreciate everybody. I appreciate everybody. I didn't have many viewers. I streamed to basically zero viewers. For five months straight when I first started streaming back in August of 2021. I didn't really start getting viewers until I started posting like TikTok and YouTube shorts, which makes sense. You know, not many people want to watch a zero viewer stream. So the theme for this year, since it's been three lovely years, is nostalgia. So I'm going to be going back and playing some of the games and doing some of the things I did on stream back when I first started. And maybe... You guys will like it now. <laughs> we reviewed this all on stream together to figure out what we wanted to do. So just a quick little speed run of the list. I used to do a lot of art on stream on this channel when I first started. If you go back on my VOD channel, it was a lot of like India ink portraits and drawing and crafting. 
nobody watched that. And that's fine. The overlay was shit. And also, my mic was horrible. I had, like, a little Bluetooth ear mic, and it was not good. No wonder nobody watched. Uh, the audio should be better now. I do have a Blue Yeti, and it sounds fine. We'll sing the song after we finish the intro, because I've been stalling in the intro too much. I also did a lot of Mario Kart. One of the longest metas for Mario Kart on my channel was called the Going for Gold Run, which is when I was trying to get gold star or three star gold trophies in every single pre to unlock the gold Mario character, which I did. And then another one of the first few game series I did on stream was Super Mario Odyssey trying to get all the moons. And you know what? I didn't do it. <laughs> I'm a quitter. And then I played a lot of Animal Crossing. We're not doing that today because Animal Crossing is boring. And another thing, after I finished the Going for Gold run with Mario Kart, I did a lot of challenges. Another game that I did at the very beginning was Stardew Valley, where one of the metas for Stardew Valley was I would answer random questions. Yeah, so those were the primary things I did for my first six months to a year on streaming. So we're going to be revisiting some of those today. So the actual... I need to fix my chair. I feel like I'm really short. Yeah, some of you guys have been here for a long time. So, the main activities for today is the Mario Kart reset if I don't get first run. Asterisk, every five gifted means chat makes me reset. Activity number two. These aren't in order. This is just like a list. Darker side speed run. I was going to originally try to beat Odyssey in one sitting, like get a new save, but I don't want to do that <laughs> because all of the music in some of the Odyssey worlds is copywritten and I don't want to lose a VOD. So we're going to be speed running darker side, which that is a YouTube video in itself. Guys, exclamation point YouTube. The next thing on the docket is the Mario Kart challenge wheel. One of my first like YouTube video streams. So we're doing that again. Another one was India Ink Portraits. I'm going to be drawing one of you guys on stream. And it took me forever to find my inks because I lost them. Thankfully, they didn't spill in the closet. If the stream reaches 6 or 7 p.m., we'll order a pizza. And we're not going to talk about how we're going to order it. We'll see what happens if we get there. Later in the day, like maybe 8 to 10 p.m., we'll do playing with viewers. You know, because I'll probably be very tired. <laughs> and then the last thing is a question generator. Because earlier, when I first did Stardew Valley, I would not, like, commentate the game. I would just answer questions and yap the whole time. So we'll do a random question generator. So kind of like an AMA. But yeah, so those are the main activities for today. Honestly, I kind of want to do... Mm, I kind of want to do reset if I don't get first... You can order pizza on the Wii? What? Like, I can get... Wait. I think we're gonna do mod pizza, because all the other big chains are being boycotted. You can order Domino's on the Wii? Like, is there an app? Like, what? Okay, so now that's our plan. Since we got resub and gifted, we're gonna add Vic and Keelan's name. I'm going to try and give you guys stickers that match your chat colors. This green is like kind of, look, it's basically identical to Vic's color. Wasn't that a Miko collab? Oh no, I know that Miko did have a pizza line. I remember seeing pictures. Like I said, if you type in chat at all today, you get written in our card. And then if you choose to donate... I'll write your name with a sticker. Okay, Keelan's color is kind of like an Eeyore blue. I don't know if they have Eeyore blue. Wait, Keelan, are you in chat still? Are you a cat or a dog person? Guys, don't worry. Wii Games are making a comeback in January for Wii Week 2025. And also, no spoilers, but we might do Wii in September. If you know, you know. Thank you for the follow! Plus one! Thank you. 
Yeah, because we do Wee Week once a year in January. We did it last year. Because, like, I would play Wii games more often on stream, but I don't want to be, like, the Wii game streamer. I'm full variety. Okay. Since Keelan didn't answer, I'm going to guess that Keelan... You know what? I'll give Keelan... <laughs> I'll, give... I'll give Keelan the rainbow. <laughs> did I hear my name? Yes, uh, Keelan. Are you a dog or a cat person? I forgot it was 2024 already. Bro. Bro. Okay, I'm gonna get the capture card set up. I knew- I clocked you for a dog person. That was my first guess. Even though it's technically a 50-50. First, we're gonna do the I reset if I don't get first Mario Kart run. Every five gifted equals reset. Did you guys hear the doo-doo? Dang, this is the first time using my Wii in like two weeks, it feels. I've only been doing PC stuff on stream. Oh wait, Fall Guys! Somebody suggested we do Fall Guys. We'll, we'll do just like normal Fall Guys at the end. Ain't no way. I don't like Fall Guys. I used to be so good at Fall Guys until everybody else got so good at Fall Guys. <laughs> I used to be so good. I'm not going to be doing Dress to Impress because I forgot to make my Roblox account last night. <laughs> I forgot. Okay. Guys? I knocked something down. Mario Kart time! Okay, everything is correct. Everything is there. I'm trying to think of anything else I need to set up. Wait, guys! Today's stream is presented to you by- Oh my god! PiecesArt.MyShopify.com Guys, click the link in chat. Go bookmark my website. There are new Lino prints available. And if you use code TWITCH10, you get $10 off. Ain't no way. But yeah, I'll update the category in a second. You know, me and my invisible mods. They're here lurking. Be scared of them. I also need to update the plan command. Plan. 40 tracks, 200 cc, reset if don't get first, but 5 gifted equals reset from chant. I spelled reset wrong. <laughs> okay, the plan command is now updated. Okay, bye Vic, we'll see you later. Are you gonna re-dye your hair purple? And be woke? Also, guys, get your waters and snacks ready. It's gonna be a long day. Boys! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the plan is simple. Playing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe 200cc until I beat all 48 tracks without getting a place that is not first. Every reset I change the character also... If we get five gifted subs at any point in the run, from chat or whatever, has to be five sub drop, not five total. I will also reset. Also, let's see if the audio is synced. It synced. If it desyncs at any point, please tell me, because the capture card is still busted. Five sub reset is wild. This run? No joke? Remember when we did the I rank Mario Kart tracks? It took me three hours to play them all. Three plus hours. 
So that means this could take all day. I'm doing this until, like, I get really mad. Um, classic. Gold Mario. It's a flex. Oh, wait, did I do an order? Oh, you select that at the end. Short challenge just like yesterday? Dude, oh my god. VOD watchers. Sorry, I have to do versus, but I keep selecting. The premise for yesterday's stream was stream ends when I beat super auto pets. And usually it only takes me like an hour or two offline, but it took me nearly five hours yesterday. Okay, make the rule set. 200cc, no teams. Let's do normal items. Because this is a normal game, normal com, all vehicles, courses in order, all 48. And so, it begins. The last time we attempted this run was two years ago. There is a highlight for this video on my YouTube channel. It's my first ever video I published and edited. But it, I didn't beat the challenge. <laughs> It was like the most least satisfying video ever. <laughs> I'm speedrunning. Stream ends when the timer ends. Man, I haven't played Mario Kart in so long. Oh, this is gonna be easy peasy lemon squeezy. Dude, it feels so good to play. <laughs> Sorry, I was gonna make a good time. <laughs> Holding the coin in my hand. That way if I get ghosted, it takes the coin. It's not worth redeeming the coin to get an additional item because the green shell is already a pretty decent protection item. I'm a gamer, look at that. No! That was such a clean line though. Guys, who's gonna be here all day with me? Type 1. Type 2 if you have a life. <laughs> Similar stat, not redeeming the coin. <gasps> Which one's gonna hit me first? One track down, 47 to go. How is the red shell faster than- Oh, I guess that makes sense, because the blue comes from the back. Hey, yo. You know, it'll be a miracle if even I'm here all day. Also, guys, we are 30 minutes in the stream, so if we knew her, click follow. You get to type in chat. Isn't that pretty cool? You know, it's gonna be really sad if I have to manu- Oh! If I have to manually reset. Yeah, the reason why I was gonna do the subathon on my actual three anniversary, which is August 2nd, but I have somebody coming in from out of town tomorrow night. So it's like I don't want them <laughs> I don't want them to come over and be like, oh actually sorry, I have to do my job. And my job is like playing video game, even though it's not a real job, because like I make no money. <laughs> like how how would I explain to them? That, no, we cannot go to Applebee's. I have to clean more of <laughs> So that's why the sub is not started today. And we might be going to Hawaii for the service either next weekend or the upcoming. They still haven't had a chance to schedule it. So my sister and I don't know when we need to go. But thankfully she was able to get the PTO approved because like... But most companies will offer like a family emergency leave. As like a separate PTO. Two blue shells? I'm colorblind. 
No, we learned this during the ASD quiz stream. Wait. Oh my god. <laughs> Link almost passed me. We learned this during the ASD quiz stream, but I didn't know that some people on the spectrum see colors differently. Like, objectively, it makes sense, because I know it's, like, common for some to have, like, light sensitivity. But I guess you can have, like... Because some people have, like, more saturated and some desaturated colors. Also, I forgot I had to sing a song. I'm so sorry, I forgot. <laughs> oh, awkward. Okay, I'll sing a song now. I'm sorry, Spartan. I always get nervous for streams like this because usually my streams are like one idea, not like a million ideas. Ooh, Set It Off has a new song. I'll say it. I didn't like it. I'm pulling up my song playlist right now. I don't know any Lady Gaga songs. It almost played. You don't know poker face? I don't. I only know the word pu 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 poker face. That's the only part I know. I I don't know anything else. <laughs> Not a jukebox. Okay. I'm gonna sing a song. If you want to see the other singing clips, there's a playlist on my YouTube. Go watch it later. Whoever guesses the song gets a high five. I'm gonna try to do the final verse of the song. <clears throat> like the little schoolmaid in the schoolyard will play Jackson, Uno cards. I'll be your best friend and you'll be my Valentine. Yes. <laughs> I either go too high or too deep. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I can't. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. The yes always trips me up. Yes, you can hold my hand if you want to. Cause I want to hold yours too. We'll be playmates and lovers and share our secret world but it's time for me to go home it's getting late dark outside i need to be with myself in serenity peace serenity Okay, that one sucked. I'll do a different one. <laughs> that one was bad. I don't take requests. If you guys are going to keep asking for a request, I'm going to disable the alert. Not going to lie, it's annoying. <clears throat> I'll sing a different song. That one was ass. I'll do a different one. Oh, you're guessing the song? Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> okay, if you guess this song, I'll give you two high fives. You the queen of only 18. She had some trouble with herself. He was always there to help her. She always belonged to someone. Else. I drove for miles and miles and wound up at your door. I've had you so many times, but 
somehow I want more. I don't mind spending every day out on your corner in the pouring rain. Or look for the girl with a broken smile. Ask her if she wants to stay a while, and she will. She will Yeah, tap on my window, knock on my door. I wanna make you feel beautiful. I haven't sung the one in so long. It's my mom's favorite song. I'm really flat at it, but I don't like my mom. <laughs> Okay, uh, back to Mario Kart. I feel like that second song is a bit better. Thank you for redeeming Spartan, even though I forgot. Thank you! Yeah, good guesses. Wait, chat's over here. Good guesses. Okay, two tracks done. 46 to go. I'm gonna do this first try, surely. The mom that I used to carpool to elementary school with, she had songs about Jane as the... It was either the CD or the cassette tape. And she would play it every morning in the car. I know 150cc is standard, but we're doing 200cc because I'm speedrunning. I'll say it. Best Mario Kart song. Or play. Okay, see you in a bit, Spartan. Since this isn't online, the computers aren't gonna be super happy. Wait, you know what will also be a crazy Mario Kart challenge? Doing online races, but trying to play all 48 tracks. Because, like, it's... It's like random, right? Dude, that would be like a six hour stream. <laughs> the computer put the banana in the ramp. Should we do a another if you get last you get banned stream? Would you guys want to participate again? How about we do the idea once a year? Cause like Someone told me I should do it again, but it's like I guess it's been seven months. But I don't, I don't like rehashing shit again, again, and again too much. Redeem the coin in hopes of getting better items with the double item box. Keep in the coin so I don't get ghosted. I'm not resetting. W, three years. Can you do this 48 run online? I've also considered that. I guess I could make like a, a lot of viewers because then I could choose the maps and stuff. But I think it would be really funny to try this. And try just like random online lobbies. It would- That in itself would be like a subathon. <laughs> but I think it'd be really funny.
48 races, but every single item is a blue shell. <laughs> No, we should put you two on the production team. You have ideas. I'm gonna lap the villager. When I used to bike every day, I would play games as I bike, but I stopped doing that a few months ago. Now I'll just watch videos. I didn't bike this morning though because I knew today was going to be a longer day. And I had like a real meal for breakfast instead of a protein shake. But like biking has become easier and easier. Easier. I've biked just about every day for the past two weeks like since I've been off my my blood thinners. W! One pre-done. And I forgot how much I liked biking. I really want to save up and get a uh, actual real bike again. The only issue is, is that there's not many good biking trails in my area. There is one, but it's like a 30 minute bus ride away. So it's not like I'm gonna get up early, take the bus for 30 minutes, and then just bike. No! And I released the item to L. Oh, in the states, not many cities have biking lanes, let alone a bike rack. There's one city, it's like a college town, and they have like huge bike lanes on both sides of the roads, but that's very uncommon. The reason why we don't have no more bike racks anymore is because the city is trying to avoid like the unhoused from using the bike racks. Which is scummy. Hi, Electra. Welcome in. Can we get some yos? Hello. Uh, watch this. I'm gonna outrun the blue shell. <laughs> Just give houses to the unhoused, dude. That would be so easy. If I get a million subs right now, I'll put all the money towards building homes. Million subs would be crazy? No, for real. I think the most- what was the most subs? It was either like 10 or sorry, not 10. I saw the word 10 in chat and just read it, sorry. <laughs> it was either Kai or I think Iron Mouse. Oh no. I'm so far ahead that the items will never hit me. Another blue shell. Ain't no way, another dub. This run is going so well. Also, Electra, since you typed in chat, I'm gonna write your name in our three-year anniversary card. That way we can look back on this when I'm a 3K Andy. You're in, boss. How many races am I at? <laughs> Five. Five out of 48. Also, before anybody asks, yes, I did unenable the I gift you a tier one sub. I don't want to hemorrhage, hemorrhage money today. It would take forever to gift one million subs because the cap is a hundred. Somebody do the math. How many transactions would that be? It would be 10 per thousand. No! <laughs> no! Just talk to Bezos. You know, if Bezos was like a true fan, he would gift Kai a milli. <laughs> I'm locked in. Guys, watch this. Shortcut. I'm not good at that shortcut. <laughs> I 
I did say whenever we hit a million subs, I'll make a Discord. I'm not even lying. It makes sense that a VPN wouldn't work when doing that type of purchase. Because it probably still, like, needs your, like, uh, what you call it, zip code for, like, your method of purchase. So, like, it makes sense, but still it sucks. You know, money is money. And Twitch is struggling right now. They should take money from anywhere. Also, anybody in chat, Kobobo, Vic, did you guys get the discounted 5 sub price or no? Because, like, Twitch did not confirm nor deny if streamers are getting still their cuts. Like, the same rev split that they usually get. Anyone secretly a billionaire? No, the problem is, I don't think anybody who is secretly a billionaire would drop that many subs because then the viewers would know. And then their whispers would get flooded with, like, people's cash apps. I didn't even know that was a thing. Oh, Twitch announced, like, five days ago that, um, for some users, they get, like, a a dollar off for gifted subs if they gift more than five. But it's, like, a small percentage of users. Because, obviously, Twitch doesn't want to lose money. But then people were calling Twitch out because they were like, isn't it, like, not chill to offer a sale right after you increase the price of something? <laughs> Like, isn't that price gouging? <laughs> I'm probably part of that percentage. Sure, sure. What if I secretly was a millionaire and I'm pretending to be poor? Would you guys cancel me for that? I guess it would be like, more pitiful. <laughs> he was like, imagine having so much money and begging for more. I would be like a presidential candidate. The new sub price scares me? No, for real. I think it is good that they didn't increase the price of like tier 2 or tier 3s because like those are already expensive. I do wish that since Twitch didn't increase the price by the dollar, they offered like some new perk along with the announcement. Because if they increase the price by a dollar, that means it was a 1 out of 5 20% price increase. Like that is not what inflation is. I don't know. Twitch staff, if you're watching, um, close your ears. <laughs> Peace in your grave, but if they increase the tier 2 price, I'm peacing out. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> I'm locked in. I hate this track so much. Give me. Imagine it gave me a boombox. Imagine. No! Oh no! Oh no! Dude, I- I'm gonna be so sad if I physically do not get first. I'm locked in. W. 105. Guys? You know what time it is. We're an hour into stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. So you can avoid the ad by subscribing for $5.99, just $6. <laughs> Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and subscribe for free. All subs today do count towards the timer. Ain't no way. So guys, subscribe right now. Or maybe you'll get lucky and get gifted today. There we go. I've had a team of analysts look at my YouTube channel, and by that I mean my sister. And she has faith, trust, and pixie dust that I'll get money, like, next year. So she and I want to do a Japan trip for 
Either late 25 or early 26. Because the best time to travel, in general, for most places, is fall time. Because that's when everybody's going back to work, back to school, people got less money, so tickets are usually cheaper. And also, fall is already pretty time of year in Japan. It's still, like, so disappointed that they didn't add Toad's Factory to the DLC. I should have cried when I learned the news. Have you looked into getting the nationality? I have, but the only issue is, in order to get Japanese citizenship, um, you- it's not dual citizenship, like, the state's passport, you would only you could only claim as a, a Japanese national. So if I ever were to, like, I don't know if I'd move there, because in order to, um, immigrate to Japan, you either have to have family, work, or be of Japanese descent, which I'm half, so, like, I check one of those boxes. What the- Here. So I check one of the one of the boxes. But they don't like taking in people who retire there either. And also since I'm disabled, it's like a double whammy. I don't think they'd want me. <laughs> so <laughs> well, you know, I'll say that for when I'm like 50 and I got my millions, like PewDiePie and I'll go there. Okay, 200 cc is really fast. I'm kinda scared. Like, I know we shit on American politics all the time, but like, living here is Ike. Oh my god, I think that was my banana fuel. That race was actually close, uh oh. Iggy was like one second behind me, if even. Oh. The issue that I had when trying this run two years ago was I had to reset so many times that I just became more and more frustrating having to play tracks over and over again. But I am not going to reset. I refuse. This is going to be a 100% perfect run. Can you dodge the blue shell without using items? Kind of. I guess the only real way you could try to do it is like run yourself off the track that way you get the Lagatu animation. You just have to time it right so it overlaps. So either way, I don't think there's any way to avoid it. The most common is obviously the horn. You can also use the mushroom to like, if you time it right, you can dash away from it. But if... I don't think there's any way to avoid it, because it's like a guaranteed cutscene. I bet somebody's just waiting till race 47. I would get mad, but it also would be so poetic. You know, I think my viewers like me enough to where they wouldn't cause me, like, that much mental stress. And serio? Dude, Sunshine Airport is such a good track. Back when I did this challenge initially, getting all gold trophies, <laughs> it took like eight streams. If you go back on my VOD channel, you can see how many VODs it took. But that's because back in my day, I only used to stream. Oh, what? Okay, the Bob Bomb and the Blue Shell got me. That's kind of what I wanted. Back in the old days, I used to only stream for like one to two hours a day. I don't know why I streamed for such little. Because it's not like I was doing anything else. I wasn't editing at the time. Oh! I think it's because it was very overwhelming being on camera. Because I didn't do social media. I didn't really take pictures of myself or anything. Like, even selfies. Until, like, I was more an adult. Like, when I turned 18. So even being on camera was a bit weird. But now I feel fully comfortable. No! Screw you, man! 
But thank you, Mac, for the five gifted. Oh no, we're at 537. It was a mistake making subs worth 17 minutes. But thank you, Mac. You know what that means? That's a reset. Fuck you. Can we get some wax in chat? But hi, Mac. Are you still at work? Okay. Well, I have to reset. Dude, I genuinely did not. I thought you guys would wait. That's fine. But we did get five gifted. So it is time to spin the wheel. Now, if you don't know what the wheel is, it's a surprise wheel. For every five gifted drop, we spin the wheel to determine the new time in which subscriptions are worth. So, let's spin the wheel. Subs are currently worth 17. It can either go down to 1 or peak at 21. Let's go. Oh my god, that's so loud. Dude, I really wanted it to land on one. That'd be so funny. Okay, subs are now back to worth 10 minutes each. Let's go. Honestly, L Mac, you reduced the value of subs. You're doing some inflation. Emote only chat. Teehee. Kim is gonna come to see me in two weeks. Oh, that's so cute. I just wanna be fed before I came in. What does that mean? Okay, I'm fixing the sub time. Tier 1s are now worth 10 minutes again, so 600 seconds. Officially saved. What does fed mean? Like, attention? Even if you're not VIP anymore, Mac, I'll still give you attention. I average 3 viewers, of course I have to talk to my chatters. Okay, subs are officially now worth 10 minutes again. Dude, I cannot wait till it lands on one minute. <laughs> no, I'm so upset now. I had to reset the stupid run. Okay, new character. Peach. Rules are the same. Since we're back here. Everybody who types in chat gets their name written. And Max, since you gifted, you get your name written again with a sticker. Let's see. Keelan said they were a dog person. And then Mac. Let's give Mac the rainbow star. Because they have a girlfriend. <laughs> They're gay. <laughs> okay, I'll show it on the big camera. Okay, you guys are free. You're free. New stickers. Keelan has dog. Mac has rainbow star. I wanted to make sure I had lunch. Fed means federal. I still don't get it. It's whatever. <laughs> Let's forget. You know, we don't gotta dwell on every single bad joke. Like the cops, the enemy. I don't think that's what Mac was saying, though. I know, like, Fed. I know that Fed can also mean colloquially, like, on the Feds. I got Apple TV for three months free? Ain't no way! Wait, what if you have, like, a Samsung TV like me? I'm such a sucker, I like most every Samsung product. <laughs> Here we go again! Attempt number two! Grrr! We're gonna be here all day. Apple TV is an app? Oh, I don't know. 
food. I, t I really wanted to do this first try. I remember there was one series that I did want to watch on Apple TV, but I forgot what it was, so it must have not been good. <laughs> I'm done touching grass for today. Does that mean you're gonna spend all day at the computer now? Apple TV sucks? Whoa! No, it's the Twitch drop! Don't say that! Also, it's a Twitch drop, but I didn't enable it on my channel. So, like, I don't get any incentive to push the Apple Plus subscription besides saying you guys get that for free. It's not- it's a rec I can't disable the drop on my channel. I checked this morning. Okay, I do not advocate the recent chat message, Twitch tab. I personally don't have any, like, TV show subscription programs. The only subscription I have is YouTube Premium, but it's on my sister's card. <laughs> so, you know, I stopped paying for that shit a year ago. In serio? Wow. But I will only consider getting a subscription service if, like, one TV show or movie is good. But then usually, they have it for, like, you can buy it later. So I don't get subscriptions usually. Oh, I'm so far ahead, I'm fine. Oh, I get the parachute! Easy. I will buy TV shows and movies on YouTube. So if I lose my YouTube account, it's Jover. I think I bought... I bought the first season of the Eric Andre show. I have a good handful of movies. And I also have season five of Get Smart. Which, if you know what Get Smart is, I think you're too old to be in this chat room. The only reason why I know Get Smart is because my mom had me watch it. And that show was playing when she was a kid. I just watched Switch. No, for real, free entertainment is so good. Like, yeah, it can be subpar quality-wise, but it feels more authentic and genuine, you know what I mean? People actually buy TV shows and movies on YouTube, yeah. It's usually the same price as if you were to, like, rent it or whatever. And, like, if you watch it on YouTube, you can get full high definition. I think it's worth. Because it's it's on my YouTube account forever. Like, I bought something four years ago and it's still there. It doesn't expire or anything, unless you buy the rented version. Dude, my lines are so bad! The ink should not be working in the water. I swear, everybody's out to get me. You know, I don't do any pirating or plun plunging. <laughs> Plundering. <laughs> Plunging. <laughs> I don't do that anymore. What? The no, no, no. It can't end like this. I'm locked in. <gasps> oh no. Jackass. Who got scared for a second there? I'm a brogy, so I just pirate. As long as you don't pirate a piece and sub, it's fine. But also, why are you guys self-snitching? What if the feds are watching the stream? Because they love my content. It's called taking care of your finances. Oh my god, that's so real and true. <laughs> you know what also is a good resource? Borrowing DVDs from your local library. That's how I watched Get Out. Nope, that's the wrong movie. No, what's the movie where it's like a murder mystery? The... What's it called? The Glass Onion is sequel. I 
I know what it- you guys have to know what I'm talking about. It has- <laughs> Dude, I'm so bad with media. I can't remember shit. Knives out! Thank you! <laughs> I didn't describe it at all, but- <laughs> Dude, you know the game? I think it's called Taboo, where you're given a word or phrase and you have to describe it without saying the name. I'm so bad at that game. I'm also really bad at Pictionary. And Serio. I'm locked in. You really said, you know, the murder mystery movie and expected us to know what it was. <laughs> I couldn't- I, I literally just said I'm bad at the taboo game. I'm not good. I was gonna suggest dress to impress, but you don't want to take the time to quickly make an account. Yeah, I'm too scared. Plus, I don't want children watching my stream. I already played Mario Kart, which is a baby game. Fuck. No, I swore. We're gonna get demonetized. W. Kids who like Roblox are too busy playing. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's right. You know what? A thousand subs and we'll play Roblox today. Shake on it? <laughs> Make it realistic. <laughs> No, the point is, it's not achievable, so we don't do it, because I don't want to do it. Plus, the theme for today is nostalgia. I'm, I'm literally... I'm not even lying. I've never played Roblox. I've watched people play it. Plus, isn't the whole, like, fun of Roblox is, like, the voice chat? I do think it is quite weird how, like, Roblox games are, like, really popular and, like, kind of the meta, when, like, all the Twitch Whisper stuff is coming out. Hi, Squirt. Welcome in. Can we get some yos? Hello. Also, hi, Ethan. Hi, guys. Check. Come here. We're having a meeting. No. I literally just made an account and used your user? No! That's so evil. Why would you do that? But now I can't make an account because you took my username. That's so mean. That's genuinely so mean. Now I'm even less incentivized. Because you were me? <laughs> okay, fair, fair. <laughs> fair. I only played one dressing game when I was... I guess, like, you could say tween. And it was a mobile game where it was pay to win. So kind of like Dress to Impress, but like 2D. And I would try my best to match the theme, but everybody would just vote for like the really prince pretty princess dresses. And I got so mad, because the only way to get the pretty princess dress skins were to pay like five bucks every month. So I never did it. But I do know that the VIP for, how you say? Dress to impress is like $8 or something. Also, since we had two chatters, we're gonna write them in our birthday card. Let's see. Oh, also, Mac, I mailed your stamp prints this morning. I think you should have gotten an email, but I, I don't think Kim did. <laughs> I did. I clicked the wrong button. So that's why you won't play it because of the trauma exactly i didn't want to say that at the start but like i'm sharing this to be completely vulnerable also hi cutie lee can we get some yos hello we're gonna write your name in the card also for the eyedrop viewers with india ink it'll be cutie lee's picture because none of you fuckers submitted a picture so i had to beg cutie lee 
<laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I also, I think I deleted that tweet accidentally last night too. Oopsie. I forgot. It's okay. We probably will only have time to draw one anyway. I sent you a picture on your art account? You did? Oh, you're supposed to do it on Twitter. They did, big? Caught. Wait, did you guys actually send me pictures in DMs? I'm so... I'm so bad. Oh, you just sent it like an hour ago. That's why I didn't see it. <laughs> you didn't tell me? I forgot. <laughs> You need a different submission platform than Twitter? No, Twitter is like the most common. Like, you can't do replies on Instagram, and I don't want people to DM me. Like, I don't want people to be like, oh my god, Peason was weird in DMs. I tuned out for two minutes and I'm so lost. Um, don't do that. You have to be locked and dialed in the entire stream. I added everybody's names in now. The reason why I usually do submit your blanks here on Twitter is that way it's public. So nobody can, like, reply weird shit. But I will keep this in mind for next time. Mods, politely screenshot every chat message so we can review this in the upcoming shareholders meeting. Talking about investing. If Peace and Entertainment ever became an LLC, what... It is not. Yet. And it became public. Would you guys invest? Be honest. What if they don't want to submit the picture publicly? Then... They wouldn't want it to be shown on stream then too, right? Because, like, the whole point of drawing the picture is that... I show the reference on screen and then I draw the picture. So, like, if they don't want to share the picture publicly, then they probably don't want the picture on stream. I think that's the main reason why. Because sometimes we've done the I make my viewers into me stream twice, and sometimes people will delete their photo after the stream ends, which is confusing to me because you're deleting your picture even though it was already on stream? Like, what? I don't get people sometimes. Can't you just imagine what I look like? Okay, Ethan, I was going to confront you about this at some point, but you know how when you go to your Twitch dashboard and you click on your, like, homepage, it gives you streamers to become friends with, like, it literally says something along the lines of, and your channel was suggested, and I looked at your channel, and you've been playing Elden Ring. <laughs> But I literally have no idea why it suggested your channel. Like, I don't interact with you at all besides in stream. It only suggested you because you type in my chat so goddamn much. You can't know what I look like? It's on your channel. It's on your channel. And you're not what I expected you to look like. It's not a bad thing. For some reason, I imagine all my viewers having, like, dark hair. Because when I think of, like, a default person, I just think dark hair. Why not? I don't know. It's not like I picture people for every single username I see in chat. I just see colors and words and numbers. I think if I did picture you guys as real people, it would scare me. Because... I would get so nervous giving presentations in school, I would be shaking and shit. I think the most ever viewers I had in one stream was 25, and that's only because Emmy Beef shouted me on her Discord and I gained like 7 viewers in a minute. I went from like 15 to 25 or something. But other than that, I, that, that was my peak. It was my birthday stream two years ago. And ever since then, I usually don't hit 10 ever. I don't know what it's at right now, but I assume it's at 10 based on the chatters we have. So W! Um, but like, it's still weird, because... I don't like hanging out in group situations, like, me being in a- I've never been to a party, but me being in a group of, like, 10 plus people, that would, like, make me so anxious. 
Even hanging out with one person is sometimes too much. I did score 105 on my rads test. <laughs> What is nice, though, is that since I've been streaming for three years, having active chatter serve out too, like, I feel like everybody here understands the vibe for the most part. So, like, everybody's, like, user's chat style is slightly different, but it's all, like, in the similar vein, I guess. Yeah, I forgot to ask my doctor at my recent checkup to ask for an ASD screening. I'm gonna ask when I go in two months again. <laughs> After two <laughs> Complaining about me chatting? No, I just say you chat a lot, and that's why Twitch recommended we collab or some shit. But I don't want to collab with viewers, that'd be cringe. And then we get some stinkers? Not often. Because, like, I know that I can be kind of annoying as a chatter, too, so, like, as long as nobody's, like, intentionally being mean, I don't care too much. Collab with Drake? No, I think I'm too old for that. Not like us. Wait, is this the furthest I've gotten? No, it's not. Where's Twisted Mansion? <laughs> that was so right. I mean, I'm mixed. thinking like knowing that I was mixed race was like my mom's full Japanese my dad is Cuban Puerto Rican but then I learned in like my mid teens that my dad never met his dad so he doesn't know his dad's background oh God! so you know what I could be a W I just don't know I don't I don't think I am I'm not gonna say that I hope I'm not because that's mean but like I don't I don't think I am I was reading the chat. I never want to take those like 23 and me type DNA tests. Cause like then then they have your information. Stop! I'm locked in. I'm not losing again. Don't they just sell your DNA? Didn't one of those companies just get, like, exposed for that? But, like, I feel like... You probably know that they already been doing that shit. Clean. I always mess up that last line. Guys, we are another 30 minutes in the stream, so if you're new here, click that follow button. You get cool emotes, and you get to type in chat. Isn't that pretty sick? And if you're already following, make sure notifications are turned on. Do it now. Every single follower I get today, I'll say thank you. We've already gotten one. Always mess with that first line. <laughs> what are you saying, Sparky? Is that like your aura? <laughs> I, I don't know what vibe I give off. Everybody thinks I look Hispanic. Or I've had so many people ask if I'm Mexican. Stop! I look to here. Don't say I look Hawaiian. I don't. I don't. I saw that, dude. I saw that. Wait, I'm in fifth. Okay, I need to lock in. I need to lock in.
I'm forgetting that when I look down, I can't see through my glasses. I thought it was a good thing that you look Hawaiian. No, I don't... It's not good or bad, it's just, like, so basic. Like, you're literally only saying that because you know that I have family from Hawaii. No! It's so easy to catch up when you're playing against computers, because the computers are, like, so bad. They don't play actual strategy. Have I done a Lua dance? No. <laughs> I did live in Hawaii for a few months when I was younger, and, like, I asked my mom if I could take a Lu- like, a, like a Luau class, right? Because they had it for kids, and she was like, no, there's too many white people. <laughs> Keep in mind, this is when I was, like, little, little. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I'm locking in. That was close. That was way too close. Peach is happy, I'm happy. It was a huge culture shock living in Hawaii, because I lived there for about four months when I was in fourth grade. Because my mom had to, like, help out her parents for a while, so she took my sister and I to live there for a few months. And in the states, obviously there's different demographics depending on what state and then county you live in. But in my area, it was, like, 85 to 90% white. And then I think it was, like... 10% Hispanic, and then Asian, and then black was like the smallest percentages between like 1 and 5%. And then going to Hawaii, there's like no white people. It's so weird. Because it's like a common trope here to be like the one Asian kid or the one black kid in class. But over there it was like you only had one white kid in every class. It was wild. And then when I came back to the States, I went back to being like the one of two Asian kids. <laughs> Do I know how to speak Hawaiian? No. I don't. My mom and my grandma never learned the native language either. Because I think it was my... It was my great-grandma who immigrated from Japan. My grandma barely spoke Japanese, my mom doesn't. My mom, like... <laughs> okay, this is her drama. But my grandma kind of forced my mom to go to college in Japan. So, like, my mom resented her culture for a long time because of it. But now, I'm a weeb, so, like, I want to go to Japan. I think during World War II, my grandma and grandpa were both in the Navy, so like they had immunity. But it's really sad because some of my grandma's friends were interned. Sag. Something that's wild that... You know how everybody is talking about like CRT? Like, we should not teach kids about, like, American history concerning, like, race issues. Grr. Uh, one of my neighbors, or old neighbors, she went to school in, I think, Virginia. And keep in mind, this neighbor, she's, like, 50, 60. She's also Japanese herself. Half white, though. She said she did not learn at all about Japanese internment when she was in school. Like, it literally was not in their textbooks. And I grew up in Washington State. And there was a handful of internment camps in my state. And they hounded it in every year. <laughs> like, to make sure we didn't forget that it happened. Imagine not knowing the reality of the history you live in. I know, it's like so stupid. The people who are advocating for CRT, like, they generally don't understand that, like... Censoring history in that way is not going to make a better society. 
Did you see Trump getting eaten up by the reporters? Yeah, it was really funny. What's CRT? Oh yeah, if you're not from the States, you might not know. CRT is like one of those Republican catchphrases. They're like, they're teaching my child to hate themselves in history class. But it stands for critical race theory, which is like a very niche sector of law. But they used it colloquially to mean um, just racial related history. Stop! I'm messing up this line! I'm locked in. Because, like, the way I see things, I feel like people will look up history actively on their own. Especially with the internet, it's so easy to, doc to document things and look things up. Like, it'll be a lot harder to hide things now in either past or modern history. So it's like, you might as well teach it in school! Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Ooh, lucky. You can teach the kids this happened, but don't blame yourself. Exactly. Like, I don't think a little Zoomer is gonna feel, like, extremely sad about something that happened 200 years ago. They may feel guilty, but it's not gonna make them, like, extremely sad. Aren't you a zoomer? Yeah. I'm technically a zoomer. I'm like right on the cusp. You know, I'm so glad I did not make any social media accounts when I was younger. Not saying that I would have posted like cringe shit. Oh my god, I've said this before. But my sister and I really, really, really wanted to make those Barbie skit videos. Like we really wanted to make like a soap opera with our Barbies. But we couldn't because we didn't have, like, the technology to film anything. We didn't get smartphones until we were in, like, late middle school. If I had a social media account when I was little, I probably would have made, like, a Hello Kitty fan account. No, I probably would have made, like, a JSC fan account. <laughs> Not the Barbie skits. Not gonna lie, they would have been bangers because my mom would watch soap operas all the time when she would be home. So, in turn, my sister and I would watch the soap operas. So they would have been good. There was, surprisingly, I, I don't remember the specific storylines we did with those little Barbie skits, but a lot of them had cheating scandals. <laughs> Uh-oh, second place. The Supernatural fan account? No, I don't- I joked about that in a clip, but realistically, I probably wouldn't. Because I only started watching Supernatural when I was, like, a tween in, like, early teens, like, 14 to 16. And I- you know, I would have been old enough at that point. I used to have a Leonardo DiCaprio fan page. <laughs> of course, you're the guy who has a fan account. Of course. Okay, I think they updated to where if the shell hits the bottom as you're holding it behind, it doesn't make you explode. It used to make you explode. Guys, who wants to make the peace in fan account? Who wants to take the hit? You know, one day, one of you guys is gonna say something really bad and try to use the peace out command, but I'm gonna re-disenable it again. I already did prove it right now. I'll do it. <laughs> I don't know. You know, Kai said I did say a big way to grow your following is have your fans make edits. Twelfth race, officially a quarter of the way through. I'm speedrunning. Um, somebody tap exclamation point fan edit in chat, please. There is a Google form if somebody- FUCK! Wants to make edits. I'm 
I'm locked in. Watch this. <laughs> Whenever I can afford a full or part-time editor, I will hire one. You know, I've been editing my own YouTube videos for a year, and not saying that I'm getting tired of it. It's just, I want more time to stream. I'm not filling that out? <laughs> okay. Valid. That's so real. <laughs> you know, if we want to get nominated for Best Hidden Gem Streamer for the Streamer Awards this year, I need more clout, guys. Can we do it? Is it legally binding? Um, no, because it's not like you're giving your actual signature. It's more like a... It's kind of like, you know when you go to a website and you agree to the terms and conditions and you scroll through everything and you just click, yes, I agree. It's kind of like that. Because, uh, I think my main concern when it does come to, like, opening up fan edits is I don't want a fan editor to copyright claim my edits or other people's edits. Because with YouTube's copyright claim system, if some bozo chooses to upload today's VOD before I upload it, then they could claim my channel. So the, the rules document is kind of like, just like, please do this so like we both like don't cause issues later on. To be legally binding, there has to be an offer, acceptance, and intent to be legally binding. Yeah, I, nowhere in my doc does it say, like, I will sue you or some shit if you break these rules. I think it's called, like, code of conduct. But like I said before, like, don't do it unless you really want to and do it for fun. Like, if you want to edit and you want to edit my shit, go for it. And whenever I do have an editor... You know, I will consider a fan editor first. <laughs> I ran right into it! I love going anti-gravity with Peach because then her ponytail goes upside down. I'll say it, everybody who says 200cc is too fast is just a pussy ass bitch. Lucky! CC is too fast? No, it's not. I like 200 CC because you get your drifts really quickly. And it separates the boys from the men. Okay, my favorite joke. I said this the other day on stream. But my favorite joke to do is calling games boy games or girl games. Because <laughs> my sister's been playing all of the old Call of Duty games. So I'll walk into her room and watch her play. And of course she offers me to play because she's trying to be nice. And I'm like, no, I don't play. No! I'm in third. I'll be like, I don't play boy games. And then she gets really annoyed. <laughs> uh-oh, uh-oh. Blue shell? Go, go, go! Somebody got auto modded. Ethan said a very bad word. Kim said that about my clothes. 
She's like, there are boy socks when they're just regular black socks. Well, I only wear black socks, but they're like neutral socks. I'm so mad. Peace and fan page is up? Ain't no way. But if you are going to use my videos or imagery or audio, you do have to fill out the Google Doc. Because the problem is, you could get banned for impersonation. <laughs> I'll do one or two more attempts. I'm so annoyed. I should not have lost that race. Which, which race did I even lose? I love an A Mario Kart because I can like zone out playing it. But then when I start losing, I lose drastically. You know, Mario's gonna clutch this win. I'm like smiling, think about when I inevitably fuck up again. <laughs> I just made my first post. Oh no. <laughs> no, I didn't ban Ethan. He's just not chatting. <laughs> You know, people are allowed to, like, lurk in his stream. You know, I'll say it. Lurkers are better than chatters. I'll say it. Everyone stop chatting. You guys really want to strike now? You really want to? Guys, it's 11.37, make a late 11.11 wish. I forgot. Hey chat, I have a riddle. What goes up, but never comes down? Okay, guys, <laughs> guys, okay, deleting that one, Jesus Christ, Mac, Jesus Christ, yes, Electra, your age, Jesus Christ, just because you lose your VIP badge doesn't mean you can, like, act up, Mac, Jesus. Here's a high five for you, Electro. I'm mad. 
mad about it. We agreed that when I beat the game, you'll lose VIP. And you know what? I finally beat the game. Did you really think I would never beat it? Let's be honest. At the rate I was going, I was not going to beat it. <laughs> no! Uh-oh. Oh my god! Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's two. This is gonna be my final attempt, and then we'll do a different activity. I thought you would be nice and let me keep the badge. No, I never lie. Do blue shells slow you during a ramp boost? They don't slow you, but depending on where you are in your boost animation for the for the blue shell, it does affect like your spawn point, like when you spin out. I cannot wait until the new Mario Party. I hope I can get it when it comes out. I might convince my sister to go halvesies on it. That was a weird drift. When they played Monopoly, like, physically in person, if you were the banker, did you ever, like, steal money? I always would. Just tell your sister we'll go have these because we'll be sharing the fun or something corny like that. She would look me dead in the eye, which she never does. And she'd be like, that's so stupid. Just say you want me to buy a piece of <laughs> it. My mom was always the banker. My mom didn't like Monopoly, neither did my dad, so they would never play that game specifically with us. And I would beg my sister to play. Because I like math, my sister hates math, so then I would be the banker. And I purposely would give her less money, because <laughs> I knew she didn't know how to count money yet. <laughs> I know I have no regrets. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. W. No, we were like eight and six. She doesn't remember that shit. It's definitely not a core memory. Guys, stream ends when I get first. Wait, wrong, wrong stream. <laughs> I'm just so used to saying that when I play Mario Kart. Don't make jokes like that, Ethan. I don't know if that's like TOS or not. No, it's okay. Because like, I know just like online rules in general, you're not supposed to like make threats to like DOX people. And I feel like that's kind of like a weird gray area. So just don't. <laughs> Just don't. <laughs> I'm locked in. Sad. Do we have any Mario Carters in chat? Near the end of today, we'll do playing with viewers. Because I assume most people would be like home and stuff.
If I ever do go on a trip! I don't know if I would stream it, because, like, internet issues are usually hell for, like, IRL. But, like, I would pay somebody to, like, film the entire trip, and then we would just edit it. I played Super Mario Kart. Does that count? Uh, not for this question. Oh, yeah, Mac, how is... Is Rainy still doing her multis, multiverse tournament? If so, should I like actually practice? Because you know I might need a, I might need the prize. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. You know what? I'll say it. Why should you have to pay to play with your friends? I think we should cancel every company that charges for online play. Nintendo, if you're watching the stream, just pretend you didn't hear what I just said. Yeah, multiverse is free to play, just like Super Auto Pets. Plunger. Plunger. I keep on saying plunger. <laughs> I don't know if I would ever buy it or plunder a game. I never have. I used to do it with like TV shows and movies. I don't anymore. But like I would be too scared that I would get baited and get a virus again. For the longest time I had a virus on my laptop. This was like a year and a half ago. And it would- every time I tried to open Chrome, it would open Yahoo. And I'm like, what the fuck? And I found out it's because I had like a- it wasn't a virus, but it was just like a really big gigabyte cookie on my browser. And it had to be from a scam link. I used to look up things on my 3DS because my parents would search my- check my search history. You know what was a blessing? My parents were never- my dad is tech savvy, but not for like computers. He's very good with like cars and shit and comp and like hard drives, but he doesn't, he's not good with the internet. So like, they don't, they don't even know that like search history is a thing. It's so funny. You know what else is funny? Watching ads, cause guys, we are two hours into stream, two hours into the subathon. So if you don't want to watch those ads, all you gotta do is subscribe for $5.99, just $6. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for real prime. Click subscribe, see if you got a sub available. Do it now. <laughs> my mom put my 3DS. <laughs> or my mom put parental controls on my 3DS, but she thought she could trick me by putting it in Spanish. <laughs> I mean, that, that is pretty smart. What What is that, Ethan? What is that? <laughs> I'm not gonna read that. <laughs> you know, you don't have to share what's in your history. Jeez. We just assume. You don't have to tell us. Guys, stream ends when I get first. You know what? It will be a miracle if I even get to 40 races.
The other day on my TikTok feed, I saw somebody playing a... It was either 3DS or regular DS game of a Hamtaro game. That I never played, but I kind of want to. Because the theme for the rest of this month is nostalgia, so it's either going to be games for me that was nostalgia, or just like older games. And the reason why I chose nostalgia for this month is because I couldn't think of any other theme that correlates with August. Wait, is this in New York? I'm walking in. I'm sorry to all the Roblox fans. I'm not doing Dress to Impress today. We'll do it another day. Shoot. It looks like, Callie, we don't have palm trees here? Or maybe it's Las Vegas. Because Vegas has like many statues of everything. Stop! <laughs> I I'm saying stop to myself because I'm bad. I want to stop being bad. W. If I get a house, when I get my million dollar mansion, I'm getting AstroTurf. AstroTurf. Because it's surprisingly more environmentally friendly. And also, if there is a fire, the grass won't spread the fire. Because it's plastic. It'll just like, basically immediately combust. I would only get grass grass if I'm getting a dog, which I am not. I'm a cat person, of course. I've been saying this before everybody else was saying this. If you're a dog person and you say you hate cats because they don't listen to you, then I feel like you, maybe you need to do some self-evaluation. Like, why do you want something that will love you endlessly? Is that how you view people too? Like, huh? Because from my experience, dog people are usually meaner than cat people like not towards their pets but like towards people getting a cat though would be for the most part like when I'm not live I'm fairly chill and quiet but then I obviously like yell and shit when I'm on camera <laughs> so I feel like the cat would hate me <laughs> I would just not have to let the cat in my stream room what about mosquito pet owners um I'm gonna say no comment because I don't I can't afford to be controversial right now Uh-oh, uh-oh. No, 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 no. I also feel like it, it would be harder to, like, train a dog than a cat. I don't know why. That's just my assumption. Like, there's a reason why Dog Whisperer shows are more popular than Cat Whisperer shows. I trained my cat to open and close the door in two days. Wait, what? Do you want that, though? Like, what if you're having some private- <laughs> what, what if you're having some you time and then your cat comes in? <laughs> Just get like a cat door. 
But I'm too lazy to open the door. Wait, that's actually so smart. No, I do think that'd be kind of dangerous though. Like I. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm thinking of a story. I'm not sharing it. You guys will never hear this story. My cat sleeps with me and my boyfriend. It's so romantic. Oh, that's so cute. Back when I was dating this one guy, one of his cats had kittens. So... Like, after the first, I think it was three weeks or a month, that's when we could start, like, touching the kittens. So every time I'd go to, over to, to his place, we would fall asleep with literal kittens on the bed. Like, it was really cute, but they, like, pissed on each other, so, like, we'd wake up with, like, piss-filled sheets, but it was still really cute. I'm locked in. I know it was gross, but like, falling asleep with the kittens was still like really cute. No! Stop! We're done. Next activity! Boys. What happened to beating every race? We'll come back to this later. We'll come back. But we've been doing it for... An hour and a half. <laughs> I think we should do something else. <laughs> I don't want the whole Zubathon to be Mario Kart. Boys. Any lead bugs in chat? He's my favorite. I'll say this. Clippers. Ludwig is the reason why I started streaming. He was the first ever streamer I watched. Um, The first ever Twitch streamer too. Who? Don't say you don't know who Ludwig is. <laughs> Sorry. I just saw the I just saw the fan again. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. You know, I said I wanted a fan account, not a stan account. Uh, cue the... Eminem song. I almost said Macklemore by accident. I don't know why. Isn't Ludwig Bowser's kid Yizzer? How do you guys not know who... Ludwig is. Genuinely, he's like, or he was like one of the biggest Twitch streamers, and now he's on YouTube. And he's, I think he was like top gaming streamer because, you know, Dr. Disrespect is gone. He's for Normies. Does that make me a Normie then? Because we're not nerds. Yeah, I guess you're right. You said you just started playing Pokemon, Vic. Are you addicted yet? Sorry, I'm looking at my Tic Tac. <laughs> I was looking at my noties. He's too popular. Are you guys, like, gonna hate me if I become too popular? We're all hipsters. Oh, I am such a big hipster, too. Genuinely. You've changed. 
Sag. I miss the old piece in. No, you don't. You literally don't. I just love small streamers that you can interact with. It's so much fun. I'm kind of the opposite now. I know it, I'm like kind of hypocritical because I don't watch small streamers. But I just don't need one-on-one -on -one interaction anymore. I don't crave it. I very much like large streams because I can just type emotes and feel like I'm part of the group. Because the one good thing about having like a faster jet is that it's easier for people to feel like they're part of the IT crew, I guess. Okay, let's see. We can do a vote on what we do next. I can't- we'll do this and then back to gaming. What do- And the drawing will be QD Lee. There we go. What do you guys want to do? Do you guys want to do art or more yapping? Go vote. Pokemon, go to the polls and vote. You can draw me based on memory. I kind of do remember what you look like, actually, Ethan. Somebody got auto modded? <laughs> you spelled rapper wrong. <laughs> Jeez. I'm also going to vote. <laughs> Last minute voting. Okay. So, random question generator one. We'll do that for a little bit. Because we got... At least four more hours together, smile. So what I had for today, because one of my gimmicks and bits I would do when I would play Stardew Valley on stream was answer random questions. If you go back and look at some of my old bots, that's what I used to do. Here it is. So I have a question generator pulled up. And for every question I don't answer, I say, oh no, I'm not going to answer this. And then we move on. <laughs> now, none of these are crazy. And feel free to answer along in the chat as well. We can have a little discussion. Where you are yapping. If you inherited or won a million dollars, what's the very first thing you would do with the money? Now, a million dollars ain't much nowadays. It can buy you a house, but it's not going to pay for, like, your annual property taxes. So you'd still have to, like, work. Wait. A million dollars? How many subs is that? That's like 110,000 subs. Who should we gift it to? I would get lunch, to be honest. You know what? I'm kind of hungry, too. <laughs> but, like, I, I, it's too early for me to eat. I ate at, like, 9.30. The very first thing I would do, I would jump up and down in excitement. Literally. <laughs> Invest in Doge? <laughs> Is Dogecoin, like, even valuable still? Is it? Oh, wait, I gotta change the plan. The plan is simple. We're 
Remind me to change the plan every time we switch activities, if I forget. Okay, plan. Answering questions from random generator. Classic piece and content. Okay, the command is updated. That's 166,000 subs. You know what I would do? Wait, can we- I'm gonna look up how many people stream on Twitch every month. I would try to give every single channel one sub. Let's see. How many people stream on Twitch? From Statistica.com, in April 2024, video streaming platform Twitch had approximately 7.23 million active streamers, down from the peak of 9.89 million in 2021. 7.23 million? Yeah, if I gift Kai 50k, I would be at the top of his leaderboard for how long? I don't know what leaderboard he has at the top of his chat box. Okay, so let's write this down. 7.23 million. Not everybody is an affiliate. Which, it took me six months to get affiliate. Let's see. How many... I think it's like a million people are affiliates. Affiliates on Twitch. Okay. Okay. As of 2023, there are about 2 million affiliates. And then in 2022, there were 57,000 partnered streamers. So that means, as of right now, it's probably less. So there's probably maybe 2.1 million monetized channels. I could, yeah, I would be able to afford to give everybody a sub. Why not? Why not? It would take forever, though. I'd have to make a bot or something. But yeah, you know, spread the love. I love socialism. Next question. Where did your family go on vacation in the summer? Plot twist, we never went on vacations because we were brokies. The only times we would travel would be for funerals and maybe a wedding. But of course you have to go to a funeral, but you could skip out on a wedding. We did do one family trip together. It was, I think, my senior year of high school, and it sucked because we drove from Washington to Montana to go to Yellowstone Park, and it was with my dad's shitty car, so it kept breaking down, and it was five people in the car, super cramped, not fun, would not recommend, and we tried to camp one day at Yellowstone, and then... It was too cold, and it was too uncomfortable, so our grandma got us a hotel. <laughs> I went to New York City with my mom to visit my family. I really want to go to New York at some point. Is it actually worth it? My sister said she would only go on with me to a United States trip if it was to California so she could go to Disney. Wait, guys, I've never been to Disney. My sister only went for the first time last year. I've never been to Disney. I kind of want to go, but, like, I can't go on rides anymore for, like, a medical reason. So, like, there's nothing that, like, I want to do, but, like, I still want to go. Living in New York goes hard. Should, should we move Peace and Incorporated to New York? There's, like, nobody here in Washington. There's nothing here. Like, I definitely think Washington is one of the better states. Call me biased, but, like, there's nothing, like... Art wise here, there's nothing YouTube wise here. I could film for you. Wait, goaded. Is the tax rate similar in New York to here? Income tax is kind of significant in Washington. I haven't been to Seattle in a while. I think it's been like a year since I've been. Seattle's not very pretty.
I do want to visit all 50 states at one point. We would just have to speed run through Florida. Because don't they not like woke people anymore? Next question. What jobs do your parents do? Um, I don't want to leak that information. What time do you normally go to bed? Uh oh, I used to be so bad. <laughs> I used to, like, be in bed at 7. But that was when, like, I didn't exercise and I just, like, didn't feel like doing anything at all. So. Also, thank you for the follow plus one. Thank you. Can we get some yo's? Between 11 and 3, 3 a.m.? Guys. The reason why I stream in the middle of the day and in the morning is that we don't stay up late to watch me. I would feel genuinely guilty. And also, you guys might see this tonight. But I get really loopy when it's past like 9 p.m. That's when I start like crashing. Before, I used to go to bed like 7 or 8. And then I would be in bed and then I'd fall asleep at 9. But now I go to bed at 9 because I, I usually exercise at 8 now. Because the issue with it being hotter is I can't use my computer like for editing because editing somehow takes more processing power than streaming. Guys, click the live right now. So I can't edit until like 6 p.m. now because it's too hot. Like right now it's 78. Even if we have like our ACs and the fans on, it's not cool enough because it's not like a real HVAC. So like as of recent, I've been editing from like 6 to like 8 p.m. I'll bike for 30 minutes and then I'll go to bed at 9. But then I don't fall asleep till 11 because I, I like watching YouTube videos. How old is your pet? I don't have one. If you were in a witness protection program, what would your new name and where would you go? Okay, that's stupid. Like, why would I leak it now? I don't think you get to pick your name if you're under witness protection. I don't, yeah, I don't, I think they just give it to you. What would they name me? Peace in 17. <laughs> what is your favorite smell? I'll go grab it right now. And no, I'm not going to go grab shoes. That would be a funny bit though. Hashtag not an ad. <laughs> it's gonna be a joint. No, I hate the smell of weed. I hate it. Hashtag not an ad. This is the only lotion I will buy, like, ever. I think I got it as a gift back when I was, like, 14. And I love the smell. It's Winter Candy Apple from... Bath and Body Works. I'm not sure if it's discontinued, but I can only find it online. Bath and Body Works is for high school. But this one smells good. It's like fruity. I only like the lotion version because the actual perfume or body mist version is too saturated. This one is nice. It's really nice. I don't like lavender scented things. Because it reminds me of home. <laughs> and also, like, lavender is, like, any type of floral scent is really, it fucks up my respiratory system for a little while. I prefer more fruity scents. Nothing beats, like, cooking something out of crock pot and, like, going to the kitchen and smelling it. Why would you be scared to say nuggets in the chat room? It's not a blog term, unless you're talking about dookie. Next question. What's the worst job you've ever had? I've only had three jobs, and they were alright. Like, no job was, like, horrible. 
I worked two food service and then I worked at a daycare. I think objectively, no, streaming is not a job. I can't say streaming is the worst job. I think the the food service was fine because like making the food was fun. The worst part was like the people. The coworkers were fine, but like customers were annoying. And then at the daycare, I only worked at the daycare when I was like below 18. So like I didn't know any better. Like the way they trained people at the daycare was not appropriate. Like my my CPR card was expired and they didn't make me re-get it. And like they didn't fully train us on like safety stuff. Thankfully nobody got hurt. I think one kid like almost sprained their ankle, but like we wrapped it quick enough to where it was fine. But the daycare was really unorganized because they had a very, very small team of only three people. And we had to watch over 20 to 40 kids on any given day. And before, like, the newest program director came in right before I left, it was very unorganized. Like, I only got to work with the new program director for, like, a month before I, I left for a different job. And also, like, the... The daycare was run in association with the church and they would make the kids do like religious activities but like I, I'm agnostic so like I didn't participate in those activities but I don't know like nothing was horrible but I, I think that was my least favorite like working with the kids was fun but I was also a kid myself so like I don't I'm looking back I don't know why they hired a like a minor to do like an adult job but you know it was all right i worked there from when i was 16 to 17. next question what's the weirdest dream you've ever had though i can't recall any specific dreams because whenever i have dreams i like they happen and then i just immediately forget when i wake up that's why, like, I can never do a dream journal because, like, I literally forget right when I wake up. I, There's no time for me to grab the journal and start writing. But I would have to say the weirdest dreams are ones that are, like, just me talking normally to my friends. And then I wake up thinking, like, the conversations actually happened. Like, those are the worst for me. I had a dream that my mom started a snake farm at my house. That That would be weird. <laughs> That is pretty weird. Next question. Who was your first celebrity crush? This might be embarrassing. Now, I want to say Jensen Ackles, because I had a huge supernatural phase when I was in my teens. But the true and real answer is Taylor Lautner. My mom had us watch and read the Twilight series when we were younger. And dude, I loved Jacob. I was hashtag team Jacob all the way. I think it's because I'm such a sucker for like the childhood best friend trope. Like I was genuinely so upset when Bella picked... I was so upset when she picked fucking Edward. Why does she make you read that? Dude, I don't know. I don't know. My mom's weird. Jacob was so abusive. Yeah, for real. He, like, as an adult, I'm like, yeah, Jacob was an asshole. But, like, he seems so much nicer to her at times. I don't know. I, I think she should have picked neither. <laughs> okay twitch dev would you rather date someone older or younger older i'm 25 and like even i i don't think okay what is saying older or younger i assume like a five age difference? Dude, I'm 25. Because I think, like... I'm trying to say this so it doesn't get clipped. 
I personally can only see myself dating somebody who's within my age by like a year or two. Because since I'm 25, I'm at a point where like, I'm at the age where everybody's like out of college. So like, even if I were to date somebody who was 22, they're probably still in college. So like their brain is like in a different mode. And then also if I'm dating somebody who's in their late 20s, like 29, 20, like 28 to 30, they're like getting ready for like to settle down. So, like, I think my current age is we're at a point where, like, I should only date my age. Yeah, like, dating someone younger, even, like, 22, 23, is, like, weird to me. Because then that would be, like, that would be, like, a senior dating the freshman. Like, it's not, it's weird. What's settling down? Buying a house and getting five cats, of course. Twenty-two and twenty-five is fine. Yeah, like it is fine, but like a twenty-two year old would be just out of college. A twenty-five year old would be somebody who's like in college beginning like a master's or a doctorate. <laughs> Follow from TikTok, fellow nose picture checking in. Hello. <laughs> Welcome in. Can we get some yos? Thank you for waiting the ten minutes to chat. I really appreciate it. If you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me. But welcome in. <laughs> you know what's so funny? Uh, the, the TikTok clip that'll be posted tomorrow is another banger. It's on my YouTube already, but <laughs> it's like rehashing the nose bit. He, him, shake or milk is fine. I think I'll do shake. I like shake. You never asked me my preferred- No, I literally did, and you ignored me, Spartan. I can look at the logs. I can literally go back in the VOD. I know I asked- I literally ask it to every chatter. Why would I not? You know, I'm a very kind and welcoming streamer, type 1. Boys! Do you want me to call you by your name, though? Or do you want me to call you Spartan? You don't have to share your name. <laughs> one ish. Wait, wait, why did I say type one? Oh, yeah, that I'm kind. Uh, type two of your hate watcher. To answer this, I would just date my age. And by my age, I mean like. Like a one year higher or lower. That's basically my age. Wait, what did I say two for if you're a hate watcher? Bonds, Ben, everybody who said two. I think the type one bit is so funny. Oh, also on the... It was so funny because, like... In that clip from the nose picking bit, I was like, guys, type one if you pick your nose. I got comments on both TikTok and YouTube of people just commenting one. <laughs> like, it's so funny. <laughs> like, it's not life. I would date up to 30 years older, bro. <laughs> Jeez. Dude, that would be like 55. You know, I think a little bit of gray hair is cool, but 30 years? They could be my dad. Ew. Next question. I love me some milks. <laughs> I know you meant to type milks and you got auto modded. You know, I'm denying that, so in the VOD, it just says you like milk. Ethan wanting that inheritance money? Oh my god, you're such a jerk for that. <laughs> Guys! <laughs> I wanted to be a spy and a pop star, but look at me, I'm at Target. You know, Target is just a stepping stone job, don't worry. Wait, we've had so many chatters who have worked at Target. Is that, like, the trendy job now? Okay. What's something you always wanted to do as a child but never got to do? Disneyland! There was one kid in my class who would go to Disneyland every year, so when... This is elementary. So when we'd come back to school after summer, like, during the show and tell, they would always say Disney and show their merch. I never went to Disney. Guys, can we get a million subs so I can go to Disney? 
Don't work for Target. It's absolutely terrible. And if you're watching, don't fire me. Whoa! Get him! Get him! Screenshot! I know multiple friends who've worked at Target, and some have said good, and some have said bad things. The ones who said good things were those who primarily did, like, the warehouse type work. <laughs> they can't fire me! I'm the number one department in the I state! Oh, actually. Uh, screenshot that one as well. I kind of want to go to Disney, but I kind of don't. It feels like a waste of money. If I go to Disney... I really want to stay in, like, the princess hotels. Like, just to experience it. Yeah, I used to be a regional manager at a subway, and I only got paid a dollar more than minimum wage. Next question. What's a TV show you secretly enjoy? Ooh, like a guilty pleasure? Ooh. Nothing really. Wait, what's the, what's the comedy? I don't watch any reality TV shows. Because I get sad watching them. Because I'm like, it's either the reality is like really sad or they're like hamming up for camera. Yeah, I was 20. I worked as a regional manager for that franchisee from, I was the age of 20 to 22. So like, I didn't know. Zillow. Is that Zillow? Gone wild is my guilty pleasure. Hi, Slyveon. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Oh, wait. I gotta write names in the gift card. Or not gift card. Birthday card. What was I looking up? Oh. Oh, I, I've been really watch, enjoying the show The Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. You skipping a store manager? Oh, no. I was, a, I was an assistant manager, store manager, and then a regional manager. But I only managed two stores. I was a regional manager for about six months. Let's see, we had Slavion and then Shake of Milk. I'm adding them to our birthday card. And if you subscribe, you get a sticker. That's crazy, is skipping a district manager? It's because Subways are franchises, not... Um... What's the other name? Where it's not franchise. So I managed the two locations my franchisee had. There we go. I added Slavion and Shake of Milk. Playing Neopets, that's nostalgic. I never played Neopets, surprisingly. If they still ha Oh, wait, Sedge. If they still had those Disney MMOs, I would play it. I'd have to say... The Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. What's the worst thing you ever did as a child, and what was your punishment? Well, <laughs> it is kind of a scam, my sister. I've told this story before, and I've told my sister, and she's forgiven me. So when I share this story, there's no bad blood. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna say. Jeez. I will never advocate for violence. Wait, don't clip that one. I hope you're in a better situation now, Spartan. One time in elementary, we were all standing in line, and I threw a bag to knock down everyone behind me. 
<laughs> you did not. That's like some cartoon shit. <laughs> you did not. Yeah, I agree with you, Vic. I would never advocate for violence unless it's funny and comedic. Okay. The worst thing I ever did as a child. This is the worst thing because I blamed my sister for this. My parents' house, they had a problem every year with rodents, squirrels, ants, bugs. And there would always be this one corner in our living room that would have ants crawling in. And I remember it was one hot morning and I saw the ants like crawling behind the couch. So I moved the couch and there wasn't many ants. And, you know, I liked looking at the ants walk. So I remember it was fruit roll up. I grabbed one from the kitchen and then I started tearing up fruit roll ups and dropping it by the hole in the wall that the ants were coming from. And then a whole bunch of ants came in. And... I grabbed my sister because I was like, oh my god, look at all these ants. And she's like, oh, that's so cool. And then I gave her the fruit roll up to start feeding them. And then I don't know how my mom didn't like see us do it. But my mom got home because my dad was like in the other room. And she walks in. She's like, why are there so many ants? Because at this whole at this point, there's like ants basically all over the living room. <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, my sister did it. It was her. Look at her. She's holding the fruit roll up. Because I had handed her mine. And then, obviously, we both got yelled at. But my sister got more yelled at. And my sister, she's so, like, clueless. And, like, when I was little, I didn't really understand, like, how ASD really affected her. So, like, she just took it. She didn't stand up for herself. She wasn't, like, pointing the blame back at me. She said she just felt so bad for, like, feeding them, too. She's like, I didn't want to, like, tell them it was your fault, Peason. <laughs> and this is something she was explaining to me as an adult. I don't know how you and your sister are still friends. I mean, she's done the, like, mean shit to me, too. It's only fair. You know? Yeah, she's really nice. She's the best sister. I'll say it. She's my favorite sister. Only favorite sister. That's a waste of a fruit roll-up. You know, my sister was so willing to, you know, feed the fruit roll-ups to them because she hates fruit roll-ups. My sister said she might want to start selling art soon, so you guys have to promise when she does, you'll support her. She said she's going to work on getting a VTuber. Anyway, that was the worst thing I did, and I technically did not get punished because my parents did not believe in physical discipline. We just got time out. Do y'all remember Gushers? Gushers were so much better. But they're kind of shit now. They're kind of bad. Because, like, half the Gushers you get are, like, burst already. So they're, like, extremely sticky. And, like, not in the fun way. Will she talk on camera? Probably. Anyway, next question. Last person you argued with? My sister. <laughs> But I only really talked to her. <laughs> okay, what did we argue about? Oh, we were arguing about money. Because, as you guys know, if you follow my Twitter, I do not- Okay, I'm deleting that. I do not torture my sister. I don't want that on screen. Okay, Ethan. <laughs> not like that! No! I still don't want it on screen! You know what? I'm gonna make torture a blocked word. Another chatter made a peace and does torture joke last week and I did not like it. Okay, torture. Guys, new block term. You, I swear you guys keep finding bad words. What is wrong? Yeah, my sister and I argued about money because, as you guys know, we were planning on doing a family trip in September to visit our grandma. Because she was sick. But she ended up passing away last week. So now. The main reason why we're doing the subathon soon. Like today. Is so I can potentially have money to help buy the plane ticket. Because the plane ticket will be 600 per person. Which we can afford. But it's not like ideal. So my sister and I were fighting about that. Because we were like. 
because I was saying I don't need to go. But then she was like, you need to go. And then I was like, I don't need to go. And then she's like, you need to go. And it went back and forth. If I typed all the block terms, does it go through? It just flags it and like prevents it from chat from seeing it. Or just take a long vote. <laughs> I don't know. Because like, I'm not, I'm obviously not going to share the airline we're going on. Let's look at flights. Seattle, Hawaii. Ain't no way! Thank you for the five gifted, Vic. Can we get some wood cantons in chat? Thank you. Wait, that means a wheel spin! <laughs> I hope it lands on one. For those who don't know, every five gifted, we spin the wheel and it changes the value of subscriptions. <laughs> Oh, because, like, the Hawaii tickets were initially going to be, like, only $400 per person because we were going to buy them two months in advance. But, like, now we have to go, like, next weekend. And we don't know when they're scheduling the funeral. So, like, of course, tickets are more expensive last minute. So we, we were fighting about that. That was my last fight. Anyway, wheel spin. Thank you, Vic, for the five gifted an additional five. Our top gifter for the day and month. Okay. It's wheel time! We have a 50% chance of subs still remaining 10 minutes, but there's also a chance of them becoming worth 1, 5, 17, or 21 minutes. Yeah, every chatter did spell your name wrong. <laughs> Vacantant. Okay, guys, get ready to pog. Give me one. I want one minute per sub. Come on. I want this to end. Oh my god, you're so boring and lame. Okay, subs are still worth 10 minutes. You got lucky. They're still worth 10. Dude, I really wanted to land on one. Come on. It would be hilarious. <laughs> Wasn't Ludwig some of them? Like, every sub was worth 20 seconds? I would never do that to you guys. I would never scam. But thank you, Vic. I'm gonna do a little survey. How many of you guys know Ludwig Type 1? Not if you watch them, just know. I know you're talking about the character. <laughs> Next question. We'll do this for another 10 minutes. Okay, this is unfair. What is one thing you refuse to share? But, like, me refusing to share it doesn't mean I have to share it. Oh, I could say food or an item. That is right. I really... Wait, actually, I used to hate sharing my food, but now I kind of like sharing my food because then I anticipate the other person sharing their food with me. Like, whenever I go out to eat with my friends, you know, I will try a little bite of their food and then they'll, they'll try some of my food. So, like, I don't mind. I don't mind sharing food. It does... The only time that I don't like sharing food is if I, like, portion myself out a snack that's, like, the perfect amount for me. And then my sister walks in my room and she's like, hey, can I have some? It's like, you can just grab your own. Like, we have a snack shop. Just grab your own. What's another thing? Food is, like, a cop-out answer. Um, what's one thing I refuse to share? My sugar mama actually is not real, unfortunately. <laughs> Do you prefer blondes or brunettes? Am I gonna get canceled for this? Wait, I literally was thinking about this this morning because I was on my morning walk and it was a little bit past sun sunrise. And like, there was this one tree 
And half of it was in the shade from another tree, and then the other half was, like, in the light. And the leaves were really dark. And I was thinking about it. Because I typically prefer darker hair, like brown or black hair. Because I think highlights and, like, shine looks a lot more prominent with darker hair. But that's just, like, naturally how color is. Like, it's just more contrasting. I don't, like, in terms of dating, I don't care. I don't care. I, I do think darker hair is prettier. But I know that lighter hair is, like, easier to dye. I don't know. In my whole life, I've only seen, like, three redhead people. They're almost as rare as the Charizard card. Next question. Who was the most famous person you've ever met? I have not met a famous person. Like, not even at a convention or anything. I, I, like, I've never met anybody. I don't have any signatures. I don't got nothing. Ethan, you have blonde hair. <laughs> I don't, I literally haven't met anybody. I'm not, like, the type of person to, like, lust over or, like, want to interact with celebrities. I literally haven't met anybody. You don't have blonde hair? Is it brown? I don't know. It looked blonde. I only, I only looked at your VOD for like two seconds. I literally haven't met anybody. You know, the most famous person I've ever met is myself. Because guys, we're going to be a 10k Andy by next year. Next question. Do you have posters up on your room walls? No, I don't. I've said this before. I personally hate posters. I have my paintings back here. These are all mine. But I don't hang up posters. Because. Whenever there's anything on my wall. Even if it's right up against the wall. It still casts a shadow. And. I don't have night terrors. And I'm not like scared scared of the dark. But I just don't like seeing shadows in the dark. So I never hung up posters at all. What's my inspiration for my paintings? Uh. If you want to learn more about my art, go to my website, inawaypeaceandart.myshopify.com. Guys, click the link to bookmark the website. If you go to the actual blog section, you can get a little bit more insight into my creative process. But for these specific paintings, there was no, like, real-life inspiration or anything. Oops. <laughs> I'm doing a window capture. There was no, like, inspiration or anything. It's just, like... The thing with, like, abstract or pattern work, you can, you can kind of, like, just think it in your head, right? It's not like you look at something and copy it. Abstract is usually from your mind. That's why a lot of people shit on abstract. I understand why, because abstract usually isn't as, like, technically as involved as, like, realism. But it still has substance and meaning behind it. Guys, stop talking about weed. Next question. What is on your bedside table? I have... <laughs> I have a kitchen knife. I have a kitchen knife. Vitamins. Tweezers. The remote for my fan. A container of paintbrushes. A spray bottle with alcohol. Because what I do is I spray my alcohol with a bed when I wake up. That way it kills all the sweat germs. And then I have my headphones. That is what is on my bedside table. And it's just like a little foldable tea, a little foldable TV table. I don't got no dress or anything. And I usually have my phone over there, but you know, two phones, one laptop. Dude, I miss doing the two laptops bit. <laughs> I should not have turned it in. Sorry, I got an email.
Oh, I also have sanitizer, too. Next question. We'll do two more. What? What is the thing you love most about me? You know, I think this is a this is a question for chat. What is the thing you like most about me or the stream? And in turn, I will say the thing I like most about chat. You guys both have or we both have to answer? Hmm. What do I like most about chat? I think I have to turn my ring lights down. My eyes are bugging. Chat individually, not as a whole. Nah. As a whole. I like your cooking streams. I like your hair. Thank you. I've been taking more care of my hair. The cooking streams, I would do more of, but, like, we have too many people in our, our unit now. Like, there's people in and out of the kitchen all the time. Your mom? Oh, that's pretty good. Got him. <laughs> what is the thing I love most about chat? I like your dedication to streaming and art. Wait, that's so kind. Yeah, I was gonna say, you guys can keep glazing me. I have to do you guys as individuals? Okay, if you want me to, like, tell me why I like you as a chatter, type me and I'll do it. I'm still thinking of my answer for the group. I think the thing I like most about chat collectively is, I guess, company. Because most times when I click go live, I'll have like one or two chatters, like minimum. And it's really nice to be able to spend time and know that people want to spend time with me. Because I've said this many times, but so for so much of my life, I spent it alone. I didn't have any friends. I didn't really know how to make or keep friends. I did score high in my RADS test. So knowing that people either like my personality, like what I do in terms of like content and entertainment or art, and that people do want to choose to spend their time with me is really nice. Because I know my time is very valuable to me. So I appreciate that there will always be people who will be there and want to hang out because you know i get ghosted all the time i also ghost people but it's nice omega dance thank you guys So yeah. Okay, guys, I will do the why I like chatters individually after the ad. Because we're all we're exactly three hours in. So it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid the ad by subscribing for $5.99 to $6. Skip your coffee and get ad-free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch account and subscribe for free. Ain't no way. Get some water, get a snack. We'll be back in a few. We are three hours in. We got four and a half hours left. Let's see how far we can go. It's one o'clock. I kind of want to eat something. Because if we get stream to end by seven, we'll get the pizza at six. So that means I should eat by 2 p.m. Oh, 2 p.m. Okay. I'll have lunch at two. Okay, let's see. Who typed me? If you type me, I'll say why I like you as a chatter. Okay, I'm scrolling up. Don't, guys, don't type anything new. First, we had Spartan V909. I know you're new here. <laughs> I know I do rag on you all the time. But I think it's because... Obviously, you skirt the line a lot. 
And that's whatever. I assume you're younger, and that's fine. That's just how teenagers are. Don't leak your age. This is my assumption. But, you know, I believe in rehab, rehabilitation. I want to say my favorite thing is that we never know what to expect. Because you can be really, really nice and then super unhinged. It's, like, kind of intriguing almost. It makes me, like, look at chat more. Because usually I can just, like, do my shit and not look at chat for, like, a minute. And there's nothing wild on screen. You seem like the person... <laughs> that... <laughs> Wait, I'm not saying that. That would be, like, fun to be around. Cringe. What? 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 I have to be honest. Okay, next. If you type me, I'll tell you why I like you as a chatter. Ethan... Okay. I was watching back the Pokemon VOD. And I did say, if I beat the Elite Four without losing any Pokemon, you get banned. So fortunately, or unfortunately, you get to stay in this chat room. I would say my favorite thing is that you do try to engage